And let me show you how I keep my fingers as I'm new to a miter saw. I've had many of these situations happen. I'm making a miniature tool shed at a cost of like 30 bucks. So I have a place to put all my shovels and rakes. As you can see over there, they're just kind of sitting there like, please take me. I don't want somebody to steal them. Hopefully they won't. I do have cameras all over the place like that right there. A little black thing up there. So that's going to be the size of the tool shed, 30 inches by uh, 4 feet wide. But back to the point. See, I have all my fingers. Lots of scrapes and scratches. So I have to make these things right here. So as I'm cutting, I have my hand braced like this. My body is away, ready to let go of that trigger. Sometimes it grabs. I just experienced the grab like with this one right here. As you can see, it just grabbed, twisted it around, and stopped the saw. And it kind of lunged towards me a little bit. Look at the fence, it took some chunks out of it. Really flexed the blade over. The blade is still in line. 